I'm Trish Nelson. I'm the president and CEO for NYSIG and rg &E, two members of the Avangrid family in upstate New York. Because we have Lion Vision partnered with us, we're able to get a lot better data uh, on our infrastructure in terms of the capacity, the, the load growth, the existing load in these remote locations to help us figure out how we need to grow the capacity and make us a little bit more nimble for this very aggressive energy goal of greener electricity power on the grid by 2030, 2040 and beyond. My name is Hudson Gilmer. I am co-founder and CEO of Line Vision. Our mission is to accelerate the net zero grid, and we do that by helping our utility partners like Avon Grid um, utilize advanced sensors and analytics to unlock additional capacity, additional resilience, additional safety on their existing wires. So today we are at Avon Grid New York's Energy Control Center just outside of Binghamton, New York. So we worked together with Avon Grid on a future grid challenge project that was also uh, supported by NYSERDA. Um, this is leveraging advanced technologies to optimize the amount of renewables that can be integrated onto the existing grid. Um, and specifically, we're helping Avon Grid enable what is called dynamic line ratings. So we provide a non-contact sensor technology that mounts on their towers um, and continuously monitors their, the physical position of their transmission lines. Um, and by doing that, we can help them go from conservative, uh, what are called seasonal line ratings or limits as to how much power they can put through those lines to taking advantage of actual weather conditions. Hi, I'm Will Nichols. I'm the Senior Director uh, for the energy control centers in New York State for Avon Grid, which is NYSEG and rg &E. Our priorities are to be able to efficiently or more efficiently transfer power flow across the state uh, while still being reliable so that we can move greener energy from west to east or wherever it needs to go without congestion. This data will feed into operations to adjust our line limits. If we have a more accurate limit, that's not artificially raised due to static temperature. If we have 95 degrees that we assume, it's all about the heat, but it's actually 80 degrees, we're holding back generation. So this technology will allow us to see what's really going on with the line through the line sag by looking at it in real time and give us higher ratings when it's relevant. So if we think about the energy transition, um, we need to decarbonize the grid, meaning we need to connect more and more renewables, ultimately 100% renewables. Um, and we also need to electrify transportation, electrify buildings, electrify industrial loads. Um, both of those require much more grid capacity. Estimates are that we'll need to double or even triple grid capacity by 2050. Um, so what Line Vision is doing is, is really introducing a new model for how we build grid capacity or how utilities like Avon Grid build grid capacity um, really by using sensors and analytics, by using technology to unlock capacity on their existing wires. 